Hi everyone, my name is Asada Gilmore. I'm a rising senior studying finance and French here at Purdue and have the honor of serving as the president of Purdue Student Government. Um, throughout my previous years in PSG, I've had the honor of working with all of the directors above, um, coming into Senate, um, collaborating on different projects, uh, learning and growing together as a Purdue community. And so I think that my favorite part about the cultural centers, um, I'm honored to be part of the BCC as a part of Black Voices of Inspiration. Um, and so I think that not only the BCC, but all cultural centers serve as a place, a home away from home, um, somewhere that you can be your authentic self without having to ask or explain why you're the way you are. Um, also education. I think that a lot of things that happen on this campus or um, going to a PWI, uh, things can be misunderstood. And so the cultural centers act not only um, to entertain, but also educate students and bring us together. Um, and so PSG is really excited to continue working and collaborating with all cultural centers throughout the upcoming school year. Anna Walter, and I have the honor of ser serving as the Purdue Student Government Vice President. Um, coming from a very small town um, of about 6,000, Purdue is kind of a scary place, I think, to come to at first. I remember um, sitting in my first exam thinking, wow, my entire town could fit into Elliott with me as I'm taking this calculus exam. And so I think um, the cultural centers just provide an opportunity for students to kind of find their niche and their place on campus, um, to connect with friendships, but also um, to find mentorship. I remember um, kind of walking by the BCC my freshman year and seeing this welcome sign that um, listed kind of the resources that they had on campus. Um, and I was drawn in because I remember they had um, this advertisement about how they are helping students learn how to register to vote. And so um, that's how I got drawn in. And then I found that it was just a fun place where I could do homework. I could use the computer lab. Um, they had my favorite childhood game, Mancala, available. Um, and so and I think the cultural centers just provide a welcoming place for students just to come in and learn more, but um, also just connect with others. I would say from a Purdue student government standpoint, the uh, cultural centers serve as our mission is right to represent and advocate for the needs of all students, not just students that look like me, not just students that look like Hannah. Um, and so having the cultural center, centers gives us a good opportunity to meet students where they are, as opposed to asking them to come to us, whether that be physically at CROC, but also um, just in spaces where you haven't necessarily interacted with PSG, it's a lot easier to go through. Um, and I feel like more meaningful and impactful to go through the cultural centers. But just from a, a relative standpoint, I think it's just a great opportunity to get out of your comfort zone to learn a lot. I think even from this conversation, right, I'm sitting here taking notes because I didn't realize all of the resources that we had to offer. Um, and we hear this all the time. We're more alike than we are different, but sometimes harboring on those differences and, and really exploring them and learning about that, um, it, it just makes the experience more beautiful. And I know that my Purdue, my Purdue experience would not be what it is today without the cultural center. So that's what I would say is the most exciting part. Say, um, the most exciting part for me is just the opportunity that um, it has been to learn and to hear from others and to hear. I love to hear people's stories um, and to listen to and hear them share about um, what's important to them and their backgrounds and, um, you know, why they're doing what they're doing and um, how their cultural or their religion or whatever has impacted that um, desire. And so I think that's been the most exciting part for me personally. Um, and then also from a Purdue student government standpoint, I think um, it's just an awesome opportunity to come, like Asada said, and meet students where they are um, and hear directly um, maybe the problems that they're having on campus or the things that they would like to see. Because um, I never want to be one to assume that I know the problems that other people are having. Um, and I think it's just also an opportunity um, that I need to acknowledge that I don't know everything and I don't understand um, the differences that some students have. And so um, it's a great way just to connect to students and talk about it and learn from them, um, from their experiences that they've had. And then to take that back to Purdue Student Government and truly be able to represent the student voice in that avenue. So we're so open to any and all opportunity to collaborate with all cultural centers, um, being cognizant of the history that's between PSG and cultural centers before, and also moving forward in a place, um, taking some of the things that are in our own constitutions, in our own system, and, and how can we make it more open and more inclusive, more representative, um, as well as making sure that every student on Purdue's campus um, feels that they can see themselves in, in this position. So both for Hannah and myself, we want to make sure a big goal this year is to A, be present, 
Um, so not just collaborating, whether that be financially or, or via social media, but also making sure that our members are showing up to your events and supporting you as a community, um, while also making sure there's opportunities um, for your students to, to get involved with PSG. And so I just wanted to say, um, excellence expressing itself through the intersections of perspectives and lived experiences. When I first heard it, um, I was blown away. And so we had the opportunity last year to develop our own model of what does diversity, inclusion, and equity look like within our student government. Um, and so I just wanted to say that it is ingrained in what we do. We're still working on it. We're, there's always room for growth and getting better. But I just wanted to say that I was blown away the first time I heard that definition. And it really puts you in a position that I am enough, I'm excellent as I am, and now how can I grow with those communities around us? And so uh, Purdue Student Government hopes to work with all the cultural centers here to be that community that lifts up um, those excellent students that, that call Purdue home. So thank you so much for having us. Hannah, I'm sure you have things to add. <laughs> Now, Asada, you really hit that on the head. I just wanted to also reiterate, just like all the cultural students are open to every student, so is Purdue Student Government. We welcome um, every student to be involved, and there's so many ways to be involved, um, big and small. Um, and so we are really excited. We just welcome on some staff to come on for the summer and work for the fall. But again, in the fall, there will continue to be more opportunities through um, volunteering, um, being involved in some of our subcommittees. We also have a few spots that we always like to save to have available um, for freshman students. Um, so PSG definitely as well is open to all.